Hi, Todd Dunn here on May 20th, 2018. Today I'm aboard my sailboat Sequester, my Allied 36, and what I'm going to do is just spend a couple of minutes showing you my chart plotter and radar system and talking a little bit about it. So let's swing over and take a look at the system. This is my chart plotter. It's a Lowrance HDS5 which is actually a multifunction display so it acts as a chart plotter and also as my radar display. Now it's on a swing mount here so I can swing it into the companionway so I can see it from the helm quite easily. Take this off and you can see I've got it turned on. Here we are in Southwest Harbor, Maine. This is where the Great Harbor Marina is. The boat's right here in my slip and you can see where I brought the boat in to the other side of the marina on Tuesday because my slip was occupied and then to, a couple days ago I moved it over here. It's very easy to use. We'll zoom out a little, show you what else is here. Let it refocus. So there we go. That's a 0.1 nautical mile scale bar down at the bottom. We can zoom out a little further. And there Oh, there we go. There's pretty much all of Southwest Harbor. Coast Guard Station is over here. And the town dock is here where we launched the boat. Okay, so there we have it. Now, this also acts as my radar display. And so what I'm going to do right now is turn the radar on. The radar I have is a low rants, uh broadband radar, the BR-24. So that's a first generation broadband radar. Broadband radar has a number of advantages to traditional uh, radar. One is that it turns on very quickly, as you'll see in a second. And then the other thing is that it uh, draws very little power. This radar draws about 1.3 amps when it's operating. This chart plotter here draws less than an amp, so I'm actually two amps or less with the chart plotter and the radar on. So the system is very low power, which is desirable on a sailboat because most of the time when you're sailing, you don't have the engine on, you're running off batteries. Okay, let's turn the radar on now. To do that, I'm going to press the menu button and go down to radar options. There and we're going to switch to transmit and press enter and I'll exit out of this and out of that and you can see that I picked up a radar signal before I even got back to the full screen. This comes on immediately because it's a solid state radar. You can see here the docks in the marina and land echoes from all around and we'll zoom in a little Another thing about broadband radar is that it has very good short distance uh, response. Right now I've got it so that the little scale bar here is 0.1 miles. You'll also notice that I've got radar overlay on my chart. I have a heading sensor attached to this system. It's a high speed heading sensor that gives me 10 heading indications every second and that allows me to do radar overlay. So let's zoom in a little and take a look at what's around here. There we go, that should show it up. All right, you can see here are the docks. There are three piers for the marina and there are some, mostly what you see here in the detail is finger piers. This is a wooden boat that's hanging on a mooring ball out there. This is a very small plastic buoy that shows up very nicely. So right now, the range bar here is 200 feet. So this uh, wooden boat is about 600 feet from me. We'll zoom in a little more. We can really zoom in a long way here. Okay, there we go. And we're getting a lot of clutter from the dock out here. It's not really showing much detail. And 
back here we're getting land echoes so it's but it does show quite a bit of close-in detail that right there and that right there those are mooring balls so you can really see pretty much everything with this and the scale bar here is 50 feet right now so this mooring ball is about 200 feet from the boat and you can actually zoom in even more that's maximum zoom right there so there's the boat and here's the dock and we are actually getting signal from things that are only 20 feet away which is very nice when you're running in dense fog and really can't see anything this radar will show you things that are very very close indeed As a matter of fact a lot of this signal is from the mast and maybe the cabin house on the sailboat that's about 20 feet away from me in the next slip okay let's uh, zoom out a little bit it'll take a few seconds to redraw there we go and we're getting all of our signal coming in now maybe zoom out a little bit more you can see the breakwater in front of the marina some ledge over here and these little small reflections and that small reflection those are all mooring balls so those are plastic mooring balls that you can see with this radar so it gets very very good uh, reflections from just about everything so it's a very nice uh, radar for a sailboat low power comes on right away as soon as you turn it on and is generally uh, very sensitive and picks up lots and lots of detail okay so that is my navigation system aboard sequester it's a small display but I don't need more than that this allows me to see what's going on around me the radar in particular is a very nice thing to have in Maine because believe it or not it is foggy here sometimes and it's nice when you're out and the fog rolls in to be able to see approaching boats or to use your radar and the land images that you pick up for navigation okay thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you haven't and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this so thanks again for watching